I've been inspired by Muruga to teach you this program. Six Siddhi powers during the six days of Muruga. I'm going to do more and more, uh, even beyond what I am going to talk in this program. As, as a matter of fact, yesterday, uh, I thought I would do, which I'm still going to do, is for the six days, these are the topics which uh, every day, uh, the methods to open the third eye, how to converse with God, and the chemical metals to connect with Murga, of course, uh, this will overlap. For timing each day to connect with Murga, mantras each day, and uh, fire labs each day. So we are living close to the Satya Yuga, the Golden Age. It's uh, going to start pretty soon. And my sources say it's uh, the cutoff point is the, this year. And then from January onwards, you will have a different world. I pray for that, and I and I want the world really needs it. Well, let me go and talk about the uh, six days program, which is uh, November thirteenth through the eighteenth. These days are charged with tremendous amount of power from. Murga, the Pleiadian god, the god from the Nakshatra, Kritika, and who is the supreme lord of super intelligence. And super intelligence, at one point Murga defines, is uh, a being out of the domain of knowledge as well as ignorance. Knowledge is as bad as ignorance because they both are conditions. And Murga is, teaches a wisdom that is neither knowledge nor ignorance. And what is that uh, uh, super knowledge going to be? It's called Siddhi powers, uh, supernormal powers. On each day, I'm going to oh, do things with you, uh, including uh, work with you to draw. Um, look. This is a palm leaf. I don't know how old it is. It was uh, definitely older than uh, about 100 years old or more. Look, uh, the termites have eaten it. These carry the uh, diagrams, where which six diagrams uh, carrying six supernatural or supernormal powers. This whole bun bundle uh, was given to someone with the instruction it has to be, to be handed over to me. And it's a long story uh, that's not very important. At least we have this one and then I'm going to share these things which should not be generally uh, shared. Why? Because we are close, we are coming closer to the golden age. To sweat and make money is not really a good model. 
A good model is when you can just think and manifest. Think and manifest. And this is how things are in, in heaven. In heaven, there is no sweat. There is, a, you know, everything you want, you can get instantaneously and then you don't have diseases, nor do you have death. And that is the golden age. And this will make sense to those of you who are well uh, prepared and also deserve this uh, teaching. Not that everybody that I give w would uh, uh, resonate with it or would be able to do it uh, equally uh, uh, because it is all dependent on your own evolution and the soul's readiness to oh, to absorb this uh, supernormal powers that I'm going to talk about. And then I'm also going to talk about mundane things too, like uh, money and relationship, etc. on these days. Mm, it's almost uh, 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 a miracle that I am doing this. It was not my intention to do this program. It is Muruga himself doing that. And then he wanted to me to uh, uh, do some <clears throat> Kumbhavishekam, which is to ceremonies to consecrate his uh, temples. There are some 12 temples I've been asked to uh, consecrate. Um, so we will see, I, I do not know what uh, 12 are, we will, I, I know that it will happen because it's, it's the will of Murga. So why do we need uh, uh, a divine being or God? Because our limited intelligence which is based on sugar, or intelligence is sugar-based intelligence, and is very weak, and we are victims to uh, our rational uh, mind and our limited thinking, and that's why we have to go beyond knowledge and beyond ignorance to a state of timelessness. And in that timelessness, there you have your own true identity. That is, uh, that is your true self is what the Buddha called emptiness. You are completely empty. Not that the Buddha was, uh, was uh, simply a renunciate who just left the country and then became a Swami. He he gained because he left all that, and he gained that uh, intelligence or uh, wisdom to be blissful all the time, uh, and could manifest matter at will, and that is better than being a king. Uh, so that condition is the vacuum state that uh, quantum physics is now talking about. It is a unified field. Every laws resolve into that sunya, which is emptiness. And that emptiness carries all the city powers. And why are we not getting this teaching anywhere in schools and colleges? Because of Kali Yuga was the age of suffering, and then we have to suffer with the limited knowledge and then use the nuclear power to kill others. You know, what a stupid world that we are living in. You know, even Einstein really uh, was 
uh, troubled during his uh, last years. What did I do to this world? And he was trying to meet with the politicians and no, nobody would meet him, you know. Um, but then he was so oh, troubled. Oh my God, what did I do to this world? You know, people are going to misuse it. And then we are, uh, we are seeing that. Not that the nuclear power is bad. We need them. We need all. We need powers. You know, we need intelligence. We need uh, to, uh, you know, not to. We, need, we don't need to be limited. But then, that same power should not be misused to hurt others, to hurt our own human race. That is the sad thing. But anyway, that's bound to happen before the start of the golden age. So that is part of the game that the universe has. So we are, we are very thankful to Murga that he's uh, giving me more information these days. I will try to give it to you and then keep you engaged uh, with many, many videos I have done on Muruga and over a period of, uh, you know, 20, 30 years, yeah, you know, I have told them to uh, 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 upload it or it's already loaded and then, you know, to, you know, make it available to you so that you can you can listen to them, and some of them are in Tamil, so there will be like superscripts in of English trans translation, so that you can understand where Murga is coming from. He is the god of victory, 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 success, success, success. These are all the preoccupation of his energy or oh, to victory. There is no uh, defeat consciousness. There is no defeat at all. And then that is due to ignorance. We, we, are, we are getting defeated. There is no defeat. Victory, success, abundance will be, a, will be the consciousness of Murga. And the six days I look forward to do that. And then um, um, it will be a combination of a lot of things, rituals, uh, mantras, and diagrams. I will, I will keep engaging you, uh, you know, periodically until we start the course on the 6th. God bless.